Hi, this is Elisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. Last tutorial, I show you how to use a glitter and how to use a hot sticky powders. So um, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a multicolor embossing powders. Um, it's pretty much a similar technique, but this card, um, I think a lot of people ask us, uh, could you please do a tutorial? Um, it's actually very easy. You just you just have to have a few multicolor embossing powders, and it will look uh, amazing. But if you don't have a lot of embossing um, powders, this is a, the only um, embossing color I use is a white color, and uh, that's it. It also can create a beautiful um, card. They are exactly the same stamp set but uh, with different um, colors, different um, techniques, it turned out to totally um, different um, cards. I hope you enjoy it, let's start it. So we are going to use uh, um, embossing powders. Most of the embossing powder I got it from Sprinkle and Sparkles. I am going to try to um, mark down the color that I use. Um, you don't have to be have exactly the same uh, material that I have, something similar will do just fine. So. We are going to have a very smart and uh, actually I'm going to show you we got to you can use the pigment impact too. So some color cardstock and uh, we are going to use uh, our Chinese flower detail um, too. And uh, here's the secret. Um, if you check the package on the right side on the top, they said uh, the first uh, four letters is uh, the year that I designed my stamps. F stand as a fall, S is, um, stand for a spring. So and the A is always count as a set. So that way you can identify um, this stamp set is uh, the old one or new one. So the S me is the shadow stamp. So it work well with the markers if you new as our stamps. And the die cut is just to have the matching die cut to go with it. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, the Chinese flower detail number two. And then we're going to use our words. This is our number one cell background stamps. And then we're going to use the matching die. The matching die cut is actually worth every single pen is because it's a really, really detailed cut. Um, it's impossible to hang cut. Well, it is possible, you know, after you draw some blood, it lose one or two fingers. Maybe it's doable. <laughs> just kidding. So uh, it just saves you a lot of time if you have the matching um, die cut to go with the stamps. So um, that's the start. Okay, so this is how I storage all my stamp and die cut. It's just amazing and I hold all my guiding window here. And then when I um, need it, I can easily find where's my stamp and where's my die cut. So it's a good tip to storage all your stamp in the CD case. So I love a ver Versa mark, but I found out in this technique, we're going to have a little bit problem to work with a Versa mark because the Versa mark, um, is uh, um, you cannot really see it, so um, it's a little bit hard that when we want to use a multicolor, we don't really have a um, guiding um, to help you. So instead of a Versa mark, I am going to use a, a pigment impact. So this is just a color bo uh, box, uh, cat's eyes. Um, you are going to use a uh, um, pigment impact. Don't use chalks. Chalk impact, you cannot do embossing. You need the pigment or versa mark. Um, but in this case, the versa mark doesn't really work well. So we're going to just use, it doesn't matter what color you use, that after we um, apply the embossing powder on top, um, they will completely cover your image. So even you have a um, colored impact, it's okay too. So we're going to use regular cardstock and the, give a nice a firm press. And you can see there is your image. So I'm going to um, start with this flower first. It's kind of yellowish color. So I have a daffodil and uh, I have a, this is a sienna and uh, I have a moss. So it's daffy, uh, daffodil, sienna and uh, uh, moss, tree um, color. So you just need a little bit. You don't need it a lot. So just a sprinkle on top of the flower, very thin there. As long as, the, as fast as the, when they pick up some color, um, that's good enough. So I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit yellow and then a little bit brown, darker yellow, sienna color. Okay, like this. Okay. I'm going to zoom it before um, I 
heat up and green okay so just make sure that um, you put the all the embossing color all cover all your image and that you don't need a lot okay so that's that's what it look like and then you're going to just shake gently shake okay And if you miss a little bit in the corner, you can just give it a touch up. See? That's really pretty color, right? And then we are going to just heat out with the um, heat gun. So always warm up your heat gun first before you apply on top of your artwork. And then when you point your heat gun on your artwork, just try to join a little circle, okay? And then as soon as uh, when they um, change the color, see, I just uh, keep drawing a little circle. The reason I draw in circle is I don't want to point my heat gun in the one spot because when you um, point your heat gun in the one spot, your um, car stock is going to curve. So just make sure, you know, um, keep the circle wrong and be careful it is hot. So usually I do on the I put on the table and then heat up. I just want to show you better. So, okay. And then after you heat up, just um, take a look like a 45 degree, make sure it's all shiny. If you find out a spot is not shiny, don't touch with your finger because you're going to uh, ruin your image. You just uh, heat up again. Okay, so we're going to do all four. Okay, so now we did all or multi embossing. We are going to use the die cut to um, uh, die cut it, and I'm going to show you uh, something else. It's actually a uh, very important too. So if you don't know how to use a die cut, please uh, check our other tutorial to show you how to create a guiding window and uh, how to line up. So in this tutorial, I'm going to fast forward this, so that way we don't keep repeating uh, the same technique. So if you have any question, just uh, um, check our uh, uh, local King Robert stamp um, online DVD library. We have uh, over 30 tutorial already, um, the 33 I think, and uh, we are launching more and more every. Um Okay, so I just run through uh, my um, stamped image and the die cut um, through the um, die cut machine. You really got to make sure after you run through the machine, the back, you have a clean die cut line. If you find out some part is not completely cut, don't try to release your die. Just rotate it, um, run through the machine again, make sure you have a clean cut before you pop your die cut out. Otherwise, once when you st um, try to release your die and if you part of an image is not cut, you are going to have a um, problem. So, or die cut is pretty awesome. You just uh, um, run to the machine um, um, one, one time usually you get a pretty clear um, cut, but sometimes if the die is very intricate, um, just rotate your die and do one more time. It should work just fine. Okay, that's the first one. And we're going to do the second one.
Okay, so I just released all four flowers uh, from our die cut. And then um, this is something I really like to share with you. Even though our local king um, matching die is really detailed and uh, very close to the or image, but after you cut it, sometimes it shave a little bit, but you still have a little bit of those white outline. It's better to have those out, uh, those uh, white outline than um, they don't have it. If you don't have it, it's kind of look weird. So sometimes those out um, those white line is actually bring your image out. But sometimes those outline is too much, it's very annoying. So what I like to do is I like to fill it, the gap with uh, some color. So um, this is what I do is I just use uh, uh, impact. You can use uh, this is number 13 ochre and uh, something similar. And you can use the uh, um, brown color. They will work too. Just use the stylus and then you will see gently apply on top and then the this color will fill in the gap so the white color um, they will um, back off so just make sure just to keep your little bit color on top okay so a little bit more you can try uh, even use a little bit darker and I'm going to show you what's uh, different okay See these two, the different? The bamboo one, I used the brown to fill it out the gap. The ochres still have the white color. So I like uh, um, to make those white color a little bit dark, so that way the image will show better. Um, did pick up some color. We're going to remove it. This is the best way to do it. Just uh, um, use a one clean um, stylus, the sponge, and then you're going to sprinkle a little bit of water on top. Okay, because the impact we use is dye based impact, so they are not a permanent. You can just gently wipe off the color that on the flowers. So they kind of wipe off and then. So that's four pretty nice detail cut. And then what I did is I did the embossing, go the embossing for my background, and I put a um, piece of double side tape with a glitter. And then we are going to just mount these four on top with a foam tape. That's beautiful. Him make car. I hope you like this tutorial and uh, make sure you check our um, online DVD library. There's a lot of free tutorials available to view and we need you to share a tutorial with your friend and uh, we are welcome to your feedback, your comments and uh, let us know which uh, um, technique you would like to learn and uh, I am going to produce uh, um, um, the other tutorial to show you which Set, stamp set is our number one um, sell set. I started my business in 2007 July. It's almost eight years already. And I'm going to um, share with you which stamp set is our number one sell set and uh, or take a guess. So hoping you like this tutorial and uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.